Alright guys, we're back with... They broke the phone holder, but... Luckily, I think I've got another piece I can fix it with. And let me tell you what, if you need a sturdy phone holder... Yeah, this is some serious cable on this thing. Anyway, I've got this puppy on the IQ, which is the weaker pager. And if, if you really want to train with the pager, you need to have, I think, several different pagers. Oh, don't you dare grab that file. You've got to say to yourself, I want this dog to have all the momentum possible when it's training with me. Not it's kind of going along dull and everything. And then when you say all through, then it jumps and it's all happy. All right, let me see if I can get rid of her. How did I get rid of the dog? And there is, there is something that you better get if you've got a bunch of dogs. And you, if you have a shoe bottom, and if you said, how do I get rid of her like that? How does she fall for that every time? I do it as ritualistic feeding. It's, it's just, there's no, it's not conditional. She's only living in that moment. She's not really, I'm, she's, she's eating the food and just the door shut. Now she's in there. She's not thinking any farther ahead than that and if you said why just because i the ritual it's ritualistic it's hard to understand i know all right look and i found maybe i can fix the phone with this thing no that's the wrong size oh probably not the tape that one anyway yeah no it's, it's kind of unbelievable but what i have with this puppy is he will retrieve small objects and i was kind of hiding stuff but then he was kind of picking it just i'm just going to do a little He'll pretty much, he'll pick up, he'll pick up that piece of paper right there. He said, what's he looking for? Anything but that piece of paper. He said, how can you make it? Okay. Oh, just sit there and then just let me do it. When they get desperate. problem now because oh, oh, sorry 
Yeah, the phone thing isn't quite as sturdy as it was. All right, so let me just get this out of the queue. He's not eating that at all. Oh, he's not, I mean, if you said, how did that piece of paper get there? He's the one that brought it off. Maybe I gave it no value earlier. All right, so I've got my cone. In order to be consistent, right, if you said, what don't you want? Stop bouncing into the grass. You don't want stuff. Yay! I forgot I had taught him that a little bit. I think, I think you do as quick as possible if you can get a basket. It's just very identifiable. It's, yay! It's a very identifiable prop. Yay! <laughs> so where does he go for him? Where does he go for him? He's like a little superhero. He's gonna try to Jenga maybe. So I, I'm a stationary handler, but I am adding a little bit of movement. Yay! Hey, sir. So I added just a tiny, tiny recall. Oh, I gotta keep looking. Yay! There's your cone right there. It's his speed that's unbelievable. He's so fast. And he's adding, if you're saying what, it, you know, he's saying to himself, if the dog is saying to himself, what can I add to this? You know, the byproduct that is going to be speed. I mean, you know, they can, he can go faster, he can jump higher, you know, if he wants to add to it. If you said, well, what if they don't want to add? Oh, they can go slower and slower. And so you've never seen, you know, I think once you've got them going slow, you're in trouble. And you better just start over again. Said he's adding juggling to it. Oh, I see that. Yeah, it's turning into a real circus act, this one. Real dog and pony show. Yay. Yay. His hip was right in my hand. very technical it's the dog has got to see it like that it's not emotion laden it's frosted with emotion this is how I want you guys to think of it it's frosted with emotion that's the frosting but the basis of it is a cake <laughs> Everybody's like, what oh the girls know what I mean hi yo yo hi Leanne how's everything going girl kind of fake running you know but if he thinks the possibility when this handler is facing away from me he already knows the handler does that his agenda will be to get there wherever the handler's going before them you know and if he said well that's what the recall your recalls are it is it's true And it's all very technical. Honestly, it's a very, very easy way to get a deliver. 
and I think you have to say the same thing about the deliver as anything else. If it's if they're only doing it when commanded to do it, they may not like it that much. You know, like we're commanded to pay our electric bill and stuff. We do it, but we don't like it. <laughs> We'd rather get solar panels. <laughs> we just don't know how to install them. So my job is, oh, you were so right. You were so right. do a puppy like this you're thinking of it as if you said your your body language is kind of baby talk yeah an adult dog wouldn't fall for that faking running as much but you know as a puppy all it's seeing is oh the handlers going away so you've got to be the going away handler if you're if you're always the stationary handler you're you're sending the wrong message, basically, is what it is. All right, guys, I'm going to be get uh, plug this phone in real quick, but I'm going to do then I'm going to do recalls because that honestly, if you said you can't, you can move forward without that. I don't think you can. I, not with this methodology, you can't. You can't move forward without that because. If you said, well, you're just doing that so that you've got a dog there that's willing to do what you want. Yeah, that's right. If, if they still think they just want to keep running off or that running off is never an option. Because they're never going to get loose. They're going to figure out ways to try to do it. I only went down there because I saw him going down there. me out here all day doing this crap. I'm still though, I'm doing my feet very right, that's it, that's it. We're not doing it anymore. This is this is how you're ending the training session. Mommy's tired now. Not the dog got tired. Mommy's tired now. We can't do it anymore. But I think you've got to be ready for that. And I think if you're not videotaping, you're hurting yourself. Because I see all kinds of things. If you said, what do you see on the video? I do see a lot of missed opportunities where if I would have just done something right then, I may have gotten the behavior. If my job is to... I can see some fatal flaws in the flying towards the footstool training, but... You know, you've got to have a captive audience, and that's why you've got to do the recall first. Any of them want to run off, and if you said, why? Because it's a dog. That's what they do. They run. You know, anybody, all these people want to get rid of the dog. Oh, it needs room to run. Oh, that seems to be what they think their need is. Oh, that's just, I would say that's a general consensus of people. Oh, dogs need to have room to run. I'm sure you could go out in public and do a survey, and people would say, oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, you guys, let me get my uh, battery thing. I'll be right back. Oh, Chelsea, you know it's a comedy show, girl. I'm keeping you hanging in there, girl. Don't fall off a cliff on me, please, girl. You know, you know how bad. And I've been through terrible, terrible things, too, girl. Probably even worse things than you. I don't want to minimize what I but I've been on Earth longer, and... More people have done terrible things to me, so I understand, but I need you to hang on. She's like, who cares what you need, lady? You care. That's why. That's who. That's who cares. Norman, he's not so concerned. You, on the other hand, very concerned.
just going to do a quick shoe bottom uh, episode if Melissa's there uh, because I, I think that is what's hard for people to understand. They think, oh, an e collar trainer, they're all operating under the same premise. No. An e collar augments your existing methodology. When you don't have one, it's painfully obvious to anyone other than ranked novices, but they don't see it. Oh, am awful bottom. She said, What's all? I'm sure nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing is there. Oh, it might be George, though. The kids wear me out. I'm tempted to just say don't come. But I told George this is the only thing that makes school even bearable for this kid. If this kid has to repeat the third grade and not have at least some new clothes, it's not, it's terrible. This kid's not going to, I mean, I had no self esteem. I had a really mean first grade teacher, Mrs. McCutcheon. Yeah, oh yeah, Mrs. McCutcheon. For Christmas, she gave us a picture of her. She said, what did she look like? Uh, her hair was in a bun, she had cat eye glasses, she had a lace collar buttoned up all the way, and I, as I recall, she always had a ruler in her hands. <laughs> so my job is to, oh yeah, and Shoe Bottom woke me up at midnight because she had to go outside. So I said, I vow, I will not let her in right away. But I can control this dog with, it seems to be susceptible to certain body language it, it can't even control its reaction to it. So I'm gonna get her on the platform. And all I've gotta do is sort of the abrupt arm movement. So I can get her sitting. You know, I mean, to this dog, this is just screaming. She's trying to get something. She's going to force me to pay for these sticks. <laughs> yeah, I'm in an abusive relationship with Shoe Bottom. Oh, she'll force me to do things. All right, watch. I can make her wiggle her butt, though. She's trying to find something to pick up. She's not going with that. So you said, what do you do? Reward it fast. Get that out of your mind. We're right here. We don't need to look for anything. All happening right here. All right, I think I can make her. <laughs> then I have to pay for that towel. You better be fast. You better be fast. If I paused at all, she's going to try to find something else to do. All right, so I didn't get her to pick up anything. That's the crazy part. What did I do with my stuff? Did I take it back inside? Oh, maybe I got it in my pocket. Basically pick up anything. If she sees something on the ground, all you've got to do is look at it and nod, and she'll pick it up. Get her on the platform. All she got to see is that. You see how great she's. That's all she got to see. Once you've got a sequence, they only need to see a fraction. And I see. I remember this part of the movie. I remember this part of the movie. All she's got to see is that hand signal. Oh, she buy it hook, line, and sinker. And you better keep selling it too. You better keep selling it. God, yeah, get up. I should be able to get her to go back. I, I like that healing. I forgot she did heal. Look at her, fancy, fancy. And if you said, where, where, what is the heal? 
you're driving towards that turn. So watch, I'm gonna do it. That's what the heel is. We're going. We're going. And there's the turn. The end of the healing is the turn. The healing isn't just, uh, I mean, I don't know what kind of arm that is. It's like the wind up toy arm. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's fascinating to me how this dog continues to fall for that. Am I wrong? She, all she's got to do is see it, and she says, I know this. Watch. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm doing it. She knows something to do with this green thing. I don't think she... Oh, she does know the green thing. All right, so if you said get her back to the platform. God, George is here. All right, you guys, let me get my phone plugged in. And I'm going to get Cheyenne to help me uh, train um, Chewy and a couple of the other dogs. And i got to run her to Walmart. I'm not taking all of them to Walmart. We're not going to have another repeat of Christmas where I'm buying George some expensive fishing pole. And